Well, good day, Tubes. How is she hanging? Pretty good here. Pretty good here. Nice, beautiful day. It's one of, well, hang on. <laughs> one of, one of them days. It's pretty nice. So, anyways, uh, pretty big announcement today. Pretty big announcement today. Not really an announcement announcement, but a, what would you call it? Hmm. There's probably a word for it, I just, I can't think of it. I wouldn't call it a, really an announcement, it's more like a... Maybe more like a presentation, rather than an announcement. So, we uh, had something, unfortunately, follow us home. I had my trailer on, followed us home from, uh, from uh, Home Depot the other night there. And... Uh, there's been a lot of people, I'm going to say, over the years of me making videos, YouTube videos, and, you know, showing my mower and stuff and all that stuff that have commented on this subject I'm going to show you about in a second here, um, that had suggested, you need one of those, you need one of those, you need one of those. I kept saying, no, 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 no. Well, unfortunately, I gave in and one followed me home. So you might be wondering what it is. Some of you maybe already know what it is, what I'm talking about. Um, I'd like to give you a couple of clues, maybe. Clues, or would you call it clues or hints? Well, I'll admit right away, first of all, it's got yellow and green on it. Okay. Um, it does have a couple of names. First name's John and his last name's Deer. So, hence the yellow and green. And um, it has a seat, which is nice because I'm getting old and I can't walk too much further anymore. <laughs> For example, today was uh, lots of trimming to do, which is awesome fun. And uh, I have got my health thing set up here. And today I walked. 8.9 kilometers, 12,301 steps, and did two floors, apparently two floors. So that's pretty awesome. But anyways, that's what I'm talking about. I'm getting too old. I can't be walking around anymore. I'm getting too old for this crap. Um, old and sore, and I get up in the morning, I'm like, oh, I'm still sore. Usually by the morning, I was pretty good. So uh, but anyways, yeah, so yellow and green, his name's John, his last name's Deer, and uh, has a seat, has a motor, and it has a lawnmower deck underneath them. <laughs> you guys are probably like, what in the frickin' crap is he on about? Well, without any further ado, I'll tell you why I got this in, in a few minutes here. And I've been saving up for quite a frickin' long time <laughs> for this. And uh, I finally got one, so... Um, anyways, uh, let's turn the camera around and we'll give you a couple more little hints here of what it is. Well, there's one hint. Nice, nice, sweet, thick mower blade under there. That's awesome. It's got a pretty sweet tires on it. I must say. It's got a pretty tiny filter. AM125424. It's really short. It's funny, I wonder if a longer one would fit in there. I guess it would. Sweet. It's got a pretty sweet seat spring there. Whoops, sorry. Sheets springy. Pretty awesome vacuum powered fuel pump. That's pretty sweet. It's got a plastic intake plenum thing. I don't really know if I like that, but. Uh, Plastic's good for the first bit, but then it gets brittle and goes kind of crappy. That's probably a $400 part. It's a 22 horsepower V-twin. 724 cc, made in the USA. You guys should be proud of that. John Deere. The shroud cover here's got a pretty sweet logo on it. It's got a 48 inch mowing deck. Deep, whatever that means. That's what she said. And, uh... Nice clean out there for... That never work. Never had any luck with mine on my other mower. I don't know. Whatever. Any ideas yet? 
Oh, I guess I'll have to make you wait till the next video. I know you guys hate when I do it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm messing with you. Don't start flagging me bad because I'm just screwing with you. Okay, you ready? We're gonna grand unveil this John Deere thing with a nice tires and filter and fuel pump, 22 horse engine, mower DAC 48 inch, green and yellow. Here we go, ready? Can you guys freaking believe I bought myself one of these things? Oh man, I saved and saved and saved for like six months. Six months? God, it was longer than that. I think it's almost a year. When I seen they had them, I'm like, oh, I need one of those. And it's not for my job. It's for us at the house and uh, to help our neighbor and stuff. She's getting older and stuff, you know, and elderly. And she, you know, pro probably use a bit of help. So it's to help her too. And, you know, I need to get my kids out doing some stuff and get them out of the house and off the tablets and off the computers and, you know, stuff like that. So can you believe it? Z-Track, a Z-Track. Z355E with a 48 inch deck 22 horse motor. Man, I still can't believe it's sitting on my trailer. Holy friggin' crap. They're supposed to be pretty good. I haven't even started it yet. Um, actually, before we start it, I want to run a little test on the battery with my little tester guy. Let's go grab it. This fella here, I just, you know, it's a brand new battery supposedly in it. I haven't even looked at it yet. So I just want to put a test on her and see if I can see on the battery what cold crank or crank amp, whatever it is this uh, battery is in it. And, uh, you know, I just want to make sure I was sold a, a this year battery and stuff, right? It's kind of important, so pretty awesome. Holy crap, can you believe this? I'm still, like, wet. <laughs> so under here is the battery. So we got a 300 cold crank amp. See, they don't hook on the this guy yet, so that's good. John Deere, so that's good to see. I'm hoping it's uh, it's in there really good, or is it? It's maybe not in there really good. They don't even screw it down. Holy. Deere and company anyways. Uh, okay, so let's get this set up. Point five volt. That's good. Three hundred cold crank amps. So let's. Uh, okay, okay. It's in vehicle. I'm gonna say it's before charge. Cold crank amp. Three hundred. Oh, it's already set. This is the same battery. It's in her tractor next door. I think. Uh, testing. You got. You got two sizes of cup holders. My goodness. Good battery state of health. A hundred percent. State of charge is only 83 because it probably hasn't, you know, had a test since it was new. Or, you know, a run since it was new. Okay, so I need uh, something to hook on a battery. Um, I did check the oil. See, what they do is they get these from John Deere in crates. Oil's good. In crates and then the, uh, the actual guy from the dealership I deal with in uh, Alliston, Ontario comes down to... Uh, PDI these things at the Home Depot, so. Um, okay, I gotta get uh, probably some tool. <laughs> Holy. Okay. I'm gonna have to get some more tools. Hang on a sec. Okay, so what do we need here? Well. That's like a 10 mil or looks too big. Way too big. Too big. Yeah, I don't know why they needed that. I guess they don't want it coming off. What the crap? Okay, that's too small. <laughs> what is going on here? Try this again here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna have to uh, try to combine this guy and this guy because I only have one 10 mil right now. Here, there we go. Oh, 
We're just going to give her a fire up for right now. And uh, we'll uh, get her off the trailer here soon. Get that hooked on to wire. And I guess the guy. Uh, any PDIs that would start it up, let it run for a few minutes, drive it around, make sure she's all good, and if there's a problem, they would uh, send her send her back, right? Which I don't know how much they test at factory. Okay, we're tight. So, um, let's just... Uh, Get some stuff cleaned up here. Put the tester and battery tester away. That cover can go back in. Good. And I think we're ready to try fire it up. Okay, so under this compartment here too, let me just go around the other side. I don't even know if there's much gas in it. There's no, uh, apparently a no gas gauge. There's apparently a light or something that comes on under here. Um, this is your owner's manual. It probably should take it inside. Oh, that's a pretty... Oh, that's a big, uh, big area in there. It's pretty cool. I should probably take that in and read it. I'll take that inside with me and read it tonight up. Okay. This can go back. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know how much gas is in it. Probably... Probably not much at all. Can't really tell. I presume there's some in it. Or not. <laughs> it doesn't smell like gas at all in there. Let me uh, stick my nose down in here. It smells like an old tire. So they didn't start that up at all. That's interesting. Okay, I'll have to go get some gas, I guess, then. Uh, one other thing I want to look at here, though. Uh, I want to look at the air filter. See what we got under here. What's under door number four? Darn it, I'll have to go get gas, I guess. I got some in the shed here. Oh, a nice roundy. Sweet, that's like the same same size pretty much that's on the uh, now how the crap does that come out that's interesting you know what the funny thing is unless it's a generic symbol it looks an awful lot like a Briggs and Stratton symbol oh okay that'll work um, I don't know if it's a Briggs and Stratton symbol it sure as crap looks like one let's see if we can get you to zoom in on this thing there it is there look and then it breaks the Stratton symbol. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Well, apparently, I gotta go get some gas. It's not a tremendously good fit on there, but anyways, we we'll have to get a, some gas, and uh, then we can start it up. I didn't think I'd. I thought they would have fired it up and ran it around a bit, but I guess they don't. So buttons. All right. Let's go get some gas. Okay, we got some gas. Dilly's taking straps off. Frigger them all out. I got them all intertwined. So the first. Oh, the heck. What the heck is that? The first slob of gas. Not very easy. I don't know how much it holds. I haven't read the book yet, so probably like maybe 10 liters. I don't know. They give you a nice little thing if you overfill it, it pushed out on your feet, so that's super awesome. Love that. This wasn't a full can, but we'll put it all in, I guess. Give her a little test run. Might have to pull my truck ahead though a bit because I'm 
tailgate's kind of going down over the hill. I don't want to be that uh, steep coming off with this thing. I don't know. It's freewheeling right now. So, we'll see. I don't think it's getting full. Ooh, yeah, that's full. Cool. Oh, look at that. I got like maybe a gazillionth of a liter left. Sweet. Okay. I'll have to pull my truck ahead, like I see. But uh, we can probably. I probably got to be sitting on it to start it. That's a. Uh, seat switch there if you wanted to uh, not have that working you just uh, join those two fellers together there with a little jumper wire guy and then it'll start without the seat being down but um, let's fire it up first on the trailer here I guess or maybe yeah yeah I'll have to fire another trailer here all right we'll get her fired up and just let her kind of run in a bit because like I guess they're running in a factory but this is the first start, so it's probably going to take a bit of crank, and I'm thinking, wow, this is weird not having a steering wheel in front of you, and no foot controls. So, uh, grab, just hit pause on that and grab it off for me. So we got our controls here. Key, of course, and I guess this is for the mower. Kind of thing your choke so I'll give that right up and I guess crank it oh oh, oh transmission probably um no that shouldn't matter hmm oh it's jumping the gun you gotta not have these things going which seems kind of weird you think you'd want to be punched in so anyways uh, let's try this again um <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'll just let her sit there and run a minute. Now, if I get off the seat, this should shut off. Or not. <laughs> Safety third. Safety third. All right, well, we're gonna pull my truck ahead a bit so the ramp is more like where we are here. I should be able to drive this feller down and off. Here we go. It's got no roll bar, so I'm a little bit worried. <laughs>
Ja. New pilot! New pilot! So you gotta, it seems silly, but you gotta put the brake off first, or if you pull those in, it'll stall. Really? Yeah, that's sort of backwards, I thought, but. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, I know, uh, it's gonna take a while to grow on me, I think. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I know uh, some of you have suggested, oh I missed a spot there, some of you have suggested for a long time, you should get one for, for mowing back there and then at your work, I'm like, uh, I don't know, now that I've actually driven one, I, I, I honestly don't think I'd like it around all the stones. It's too jumpy and too jerky and kind of too uh, unpredictable, unless maybe once you got to know the controls it might be alright. about 85 percent of why I got that thing was to get these kids out of the house to actually do something like I say get off the iPads and get off the computers get outside and do something and uh, to help our neighbor there too because uh, you know she's got a pile of grass over there and she does it with a 40 well you guys seen that tractor it's the one we service that's hers so 42 a 42 inch mower deck she does all that with it's huge her property there and you know I, I don't really need it for here here but like I say it's good for the kids to get out and do something right so it looks like he's he's enjoying it by the looks of things so i'm sure we'll hear a crash here eventually but uh it sounds to me like it's running really fast and it's going to eat up a lot of gas um I'm, i guess i won't know until we run it a bit right but um yeah it's good though you know something for them to do right and get out and and mow and do something they got lots of mowing here to do so it takes a bit of pressure off of me too for doing mowing here at the house as well because i got 22 acres back there I got a mow, so I got enough of my own mowing, so. But, uh, sounds like he's way the heck over there now. Holy. Well, anyways, we're gonna see if it'll fit in the shed now, too. And that's probably where it's gonna live when, um, uh, we're not mowing with it, so. Nice wide door there. <laughs> Better go measure that. 42 inch, plus the chute can come up if it has to, but. I might have to rig up a little pulling string like I got on my other tractor for, for the chute because I don't know if it's all going to fit through the door here. That might be asking a bit much. What do you think of that? It's awesome! You're going to mow now? Yeah! Alright! That's good. Uh, let me jump on, Dill, and see if it'll go in the door with the chute down it. Pull your things. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Pull your things open. We might have to rig up something like a little stringy guy to be able to pull that chute up when you're driving in. Yeah. Because uh, the deck's 48 and then you got this other piece and that might not fit. So let me give you the camera, Dill. I mean, it's probably 
the donkey? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. That's awesome. That worked really good. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Like I say, I don't think I'd want it for back there, though, around the stones. Mm. I'd be smashing the crap yeah. out of everything, I think. But for field work or, you know, wide open stuff, it's good. Anywho, that's it for today. Got it rocking again. Never ends. <laughs> But uh, anyways, we'll be doing some mowing videos and stuff for you guys. Seem to enjoy that mowing video and trimming video we did in the house here, around the house here. So uh, we've got uh, the boulevard across the road that we can do too. Um, uh, now that's just kind of done from the goodness of us, I guess, you know, because normally that would be like the township that would look after that. But I just do it while I'm out anyway. So, uh, but anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. You guys have a good one and we'll catch you all later. Mowing videos.